Hey, welcome back, gents and ladies. Hey, you like how I reversed that? I am your host, Zlevin, and of course, this is 3 The Hard Way for RPG Maker 2000, made by Ishinran, the master of this game, or something like that, who never made the second game, which I'll tell you about at the end of this game. But anywho, we are still messing around in this small little town doing side missions before we move on. So I'm going to get rid of Gastonia and Whitaker again by talking to Florence. I think we only have two missions left, and uh, then we can move on. More interesting stuff. So I'm hoping a little girl's special request is actually uh, really easy. A little girl's special request? That's a joke, right? I think I'm actually interested in this one. As much as I'd like to help out the little tyke, this sounds like one of those 25 gold piece jobs I swore I'd never do again. When did you swear that? Uh, just now, in fact. <laughs> so, what's her request? I'm not too sure. She just sent a letter asking for help. She claims she'll pay a lot of money for that help. Huh. And given we're dealing with a little girl, I bet that lot of money is three or four pieces of gold. Nope, no way. You're a greedy bastard. You know that, right? Of course I am. And I'm proud of it. So, would you be interested in taking this job? We'll do it. Hey, wait a minute, Duchess, I'm the bounty hunter here. That's exactly why we're going to take this job and help that little girl out. End of discussion. Doesn't look like you have much of a choice, guy. Well, since you'll be taking this job, we're going to sit here again. Good luck with the little girl. So, what town does this girl live in again? She lives in Bowman. It's out to the east through the Fairmont Toll. Shit, not through there again. It had better be worth it. Some things are more important than cash, you know. And this is why the Duchess is living in fairy tales, folks. Oh, I suppose we'll head out there. See you, Florence. Alright, so more shenanigans to be had. I'm pretty sure we still have the, uh... Aw, we don't have those anymore? So I gotta spend another... 15 gold pieces on. Good God, guys. I guess I guess when you walk back, that's when that guy jacks your toll. Hey, get out of my way. Jacks your toll things. So how the hell is everybody doing today? Hopefully you're good. Hopefully life isn't treating you too bad. Um, things of that nature. Hopefully you're happy to see me still doing this Let's Play. Since this is one of my favorite games. Um, I actually... I know I had taken that long hiatus like I said before to uh, take care of business hey what the hell am I doing but I, I wish I would have been able to at least put up some of these because this game is actually easy to record way easier than infamous oh I wish I wish some of my viewers who send me weird private messages about when I'm gonna continue to do my <laughs> my videos would realize how long it takes to actually edit a video and stuff the actual recording isn't too bad, but I don't know. It's still time consuming. But I do it because I enjoy it. Well, I enjoy it sometimes. Sometimes you just have those days. I guess I gotta go through this forest. Huh. Let's check this. No, nothing here. Wow, this town's in the middle of a forest. Anything secret around here? Anything at all? No, no. This is a big ass forest, man. Alright, let's go this way. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that music in the background. I believe it's TLC Creep. That's pretty funny. Welcome to Bowman, home of the annual Bowman Boat Race. Hey, I heard about this place. We might actually be able to get some money or something. Hey, are you guys here for the big boat race? No. Oh, at least I don't think so. Checking these mailboxes. Still people's uh, mail. It's nighttime, so I guess I won't be able to get into most of the places that I want to get into. Get out of, get out of that door. Let's see what these people are doing. You're lucky there are beds left. The races are going to start soon and the town's going to be packed. 
These people raised their rates by five gold to cash in on the races. What crooks? Leave me alone. And that person's sleeping. Okay. So where the hell are we going? Anything up here? Any treasure? Oh, nothing. Okay. What the hell is this? This guy's on a raft. I'm testing my advanced flotation theory for the upcoming race. All right, buddy, you keep doing that. <laughs> Looks like your piece of crap boat's gonna freaking get you killed. Wow, I can walk behind these, huh? Gives me more reason to see if there's any. Oh my goodness, I just walked out of town. Okay. Let's check this house. All this exploration that's locked. There's some weird looking statues here. Wood that nobody ever uses. It's going to be stacked there infinitely forever and ever. And. Hey, look, I can probably buy some new armor eventually. And uh, weapons. That is very good. Now I need to go use the expensive inn. It's amazing how peaceful things are here compared to Livingston and Win Windsor. Uh, <laughs> I really could care less about those foolish races. Huh. Seems a little stuck up, don't you think? Don't you know that that's entertainment at its best? Boat races? Hey, look, it's a goddamn ninja. What? Why does everyone look at me so strangely? Absolutely no comment. Huh. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to win those boat races, mark my words. Well, if you took off the Halloween costume, maybe people would take you seriously and not give you the stares. You know how society is. Do something a little bit different and then everybody's wondering why you aren't like them. Why can't they just accept you for who you are? The dude who likes to dress up in his ninja costume all days of the year. I wonder if there will be any new competitors this year, I hope so. That woman over there is Dalzell. She's the three-time defending champion. I don't think anyone can beat her. I guess he's talking about that chick to the left. I'm sorry, but registration is now closed. Okay. What is this song? Can you hear that? I have no idea what that is. This should be another easy win, especially since Me Mecklenburg died. Rest his soul. Huh. Alright, so since half this goddamn town is closed, this reminds me of the place where I live at. Like, I'm a I'm a night out already, so hey look, I walked around enough and now it's daytime. But everything closed at ten o'clock, it really pisses me off. If I need to go and get something in the middle of the night, I either have to go to the grocery store or drive like all these miles to get something that's twenty four hours. The Baron of Orange outlawed gambling, huh? Well, that's shitty for you. I wish something could be done. Miss Charlotte hasn't spoken to anyone since her dear father died. So I'm assuming that, uh... Miss Charlotte is the lady who hired us. Or the little girl. Hmm. I'm not even gonna walk all the way over there. Even though Vance is a goddamn speed demon with his walking. He's not fast enough for me. I'm actually gonna go and waste some money on these items. I need to check and see if there's anything good so that Vance and Fayette can own face a little bit better. We're not like the people at the end. We're not raising our prices any. That would be unfair. Yeah, right. Alright, so... <laughs> We're jamming. I want to jam it with you. We're jamming. I don't see anything good. Jamming. And I hope that you're jamming too. Yeah. I love singing when nobody's around, even though you guys are listening. So all this all that stuff is crap. Mom's not here right now. She's getting ready for the race, but maybe I can help you. Nah, I don't need any tonics, do I? I got nine. That's I'm more than enough. Some doors are still locked. See what this person has to say. I'm trying to figure out what to put in this room now that my sister has moved to Fairmont. She's a big spaced out, you know. Heh. <laughs> yeah, that looks just like that other chick. 
I would never have moved here if I knew how crazy these people are about these boat races. Huh. Well, now you know. You can always move, you know that, right? Oh, these people in the video games, they don't think at all. That's still locked. I guess I'm gonna end up running out of choices and have to uh, go talk to the little girl ahead of time. Yep. Ain't shit else in this town. Alright, let's move on with the shenanigans. Hope she's not some little uppity brat. <laughs> Speaking too soon, huh? Hey look, a save point. That means something bad is gonna happen. Let's check this first room. Are you the people from Wilmington? Yes, we are. I'm so glad you made it. Yeah, how about that? So you had a special request for us? I sure did. Oh, my name is Charlotte. What's your names? I'm Fayette, and he's Vance, I believe. That's me. So this big house all belongs to you, huh? Interesting. My daddy, he died a month ago. He wanted to race our boat in the big race, but now he's gone. The people say I'm too little to race, but I know our boat can win. I really need your help. I want to win the race for my daddy. What the hell? I've never raced a boat before. Kid, we'd be happy to help you out, but you see, it costs money for our services. I really, really can't believe you sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Just a simple fact, I do have to make a living. Oh, they give out prizes for anyone who wins the race. What kind of prizes? I'm not too sure, but it's a lot of money if you win. Well then, since you call for us, we'll help you win the race for your father. You will, really? Of course we will. Won't we dance? What the hell? She's not smiling normally. This is kind of frightening. I'm glad to see we agree on this. Yippee, it's in three days. I can't wait. Okay, I'll check on registration. Vance, I suppose you'll be working with the boat itself. Just my luck. <laughs> yep, glad I saved it. And so, Vance was forced by Fayette to help prepare for the Bowman Boat Race. Woohoo! Boat races. Yay! Hello, I'd like to check on registration for a Miss Charlotte. Huh. Oh, that poor little girl. Yeah, her registration is under her father's name. I assume that you intend to race for her? Er, no, actually that would be a young man named Vance. Okay, I've got it down for Vance. Excuse me? Are you planning to replace Mecklenburg? More or less. I'm Dalzell, three-time defending champ. Fayette, pleasure to meet you. I know how much it means to Mecklenburg to win this race and how much it means to his daughter. Unfortunately, it means a lot to me too, so I guess what I'm saying is, good luck. Same to you. Hmm. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, shenanigans abound. Don't you like our boat? It's really cool. What the hell? That's a boat? I'm having bad flashbacks to that lake back in Branchville. Yeah, no shit. Daddy built it himself and he races it every year. Um, yeah, well, shit. How much extra money am I going to have to spend to fix this thing? Hey, I want to see you sail it. You're kidding, right? Right now? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Vance, you're too goddamn nice. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be way more trouble than it's worth. That night. That does it. At least this thing is seaworthy now. I may as well get some sleep. Good grief, man. You're too goddamn nice. You should have did something to find some kind of way out of this. We could have did something. Alright, so I guess, uh, what are we sleeping here? Save it. Well, it's the Duchess. Anything interesting out there? Out there? Is there a window there? Looks like a wall. 
Not really. This place reminds me of a lot of my hometown. Probably a little bigger, though. Somerset? I can tell by your accent. Jeez, you make it sound like I'm a country bumpkin or something. Well, technically you are. Somerset is deep in the back of the woods from what I hear. But it doesn't really matter where you're from. I'm not trying to go back there anytime soon. Oh no, why not? I thought after this was over you'd be headed back home. Uh, yeah, well, I finished that tub of yours, so I guess I'll race it tomorrow. That's not what I've never, that's what I've never been able to understand about you. Why are you so greedy and selfish? Heh, <laughs> I prefer to think of myself as enterprising and ambitious. <laughs> that's awesome. But just tell me, honestly, has it been such a bad thing to lend Charlotte a helping hand? To grant her wish? Not really. Plus, I'm interested in that prize money after the race. Oh, what now? Why do you always have to kill the mood? What mood? Anyway, I'm catching some sleep. <laughs> what an irresponsible, cold, greedy, and useless jerk. You're jumping to conclusions, woman. Goddamn. Spoiled right into the core. Although she can be fun at times. Smiley face. That's awesome. This is why you, this is why people like Vance. Hmm. So this is it, huh? There's my piece of shit tub. I might as well talk to the others before it begins. Ah, oh, crap. Go away or else. Maybe that ninja fighting suit isn't just for looks. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you out on the water. So you're the one racing on behalf of Charlotte. Good luck. Thanks. Same to you. Look at this guy. I'm ready to go. There's no way I'm going to lose this race. Okay, buddy. I'm the chief organizer of the annual Bowman Boat Race. has been doing it for 30 years now. You replacing Mecklenburg? Yeah. Okay, then I'll lend you a bit of help since you're new. What do you need to know? Alright, so let's look at these rules real quick. Wow. So the first one to the end of the river wins. 60 gold pieces for first place, huh? This will be the last race of this year, so make sure you remember. The current will move your ship forward to increase your speed. Press the blank. The right arrow. I was about to say blank. I did say blank. Use up and down arrows to move to avoid obstacles. If your boat crashes, you are eliminated. Oh shit. I wonder how many times I'm going to have to re-record re, uh, re this. And let me see what else other information I can get out of him real quick. We already know who the contestants are, but let's check this out. <laughs> the second one is the mysterious Lotus Ninja. No one really knows why he's in this race. Probably wants the cash. Perhaps. In the third lane is Dalzil. She's our three-time defending champion. She's really good, and I doubt you'll beat her. Oh, that may be true. But still, let's have fun out there. Yeah, it's a shame I won't be able to see you in action since I'll be so far ahead. Smiley face. We'll see. Our last contestant is Nash. He's a crazy tinkerer all the way from Durham who thinks he wants to test his theories in this race. Even a greenhorn like you shouldn't have any trouble beating him. This dude called me a greenhorn. Alright, so I actually didn't mean to talk to him again. I need to go save him. Yes, I saved over my last file, but it's not a big deal. So, we're gonna try this out and let's hope I get it the very first time. At least it's staying afloat. I hope it stays that way. Alright, so now we're gonna start this. Go, go, go! God, make this guy talk faster. Can we actually start? Okay then, head to your ship and we can start. So, right to go faster. Ready? Set. And left to slow down. Go! Oh my god! <laughs> Why is this thing going so goddamn slow? Oh man, this is ridiculous. Oh no! Go, go, no, go up! Ah! 
go up, go up. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess it just automatically resets you. Holy crap. He starts off like really slow. And I can't actually uh, control this part. Now I can control it. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. No, no. There we go. Go, 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 go. Yes! Holy crap. No! What are you doing? There we go. Holy crap. Whew. So... Did I make it? Congratulations! You finished in first place and received the 60 gold pieces. Man, I crashed into the wall like four times, didn't I? Not counting the first time I crashed the whole goddamn boat. Thanks a lot. Although you might want to think about increasing the prize money next year. <laughs> I know my daddy is happy now. One day I hope to go out on the river and win myself. I'm sure that he would be proud of you. You can keep the prize money, Mr. Vance. You did all the work. I'm glad someone appreciates my skills and talents. Unlike some high and mighty duchesses. Wow. it's a lot of S's. I appreciate skill and talent just fine, however. You have neither. Just a lot of luck. And you know it. I hate you. Mr. Vance, Miss Fayette, you're gonna visit me, right? Absolutely. Bye bye. So that's awesome, we got 60 gold pieces. Huh. Okay, I suppose now we should head back to Wilmington and see after Duke Winston's mission. I'm getting rather sick of this town, you know, and it feels and looks too much like home. Okay. Let's go talk to the, to the loser. Congratulations on winning. I'll train hard so I can be a better opponent for you next year. Huh, <laughs> go right ahead. I doubt I'll be back. Oh, come on. You have to come back. I have to get another crack at racing you. Well, if you can talk them into raising the prize money, I may do it. I'll see what I can do. Okay. You never know. That might be an extra thing that we can do if they raise it to like 120 gold pieces. But now it's time to get the hell up out of here after I crashed that boat so horrendously if I go back to Durham now I'll be laughed out of town I have to prove my theories correct yeah you keep you keep working on that buddy holy holy bananas his small ass boot alright so I'm going to hurry up and walk back over yonder and I'm gonna stop it here and get ready to do the next mission Stay tuned for my next gameplay of 3 the Hard Way, where I make you guys sit through one more mission and then we can move on with the storyline. Until then, take care.